hello and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you my first reverse engineering project please stay until the end and don't forget to support my channel thank you so i use in this project the XYZ uh, printing scanner uh, that I already review it. Please check out the last video. So I choose this object right here and I want to make a copy of it. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of details uh, in these objects. So let's see if I can scan all these regions, including these details. I used a ship uh, scanner. Um, that uh, I already reviewed in my last video. I mean, if you want uh, to scan uh, small objects, the quality of this scanner is not so bad. I go ahead and move the scanner steadily to capture the images in different angles. So I finished uh, now the scan and here we go, the, this is the result and it looks not so bad. And let us check. Uh, the model and right here is um, um, a scan error and this is not problem um, cause um, I use the solid age uh, reverse engineering to treat my result as you can see here solid age has a uh, good tools uh, that gives you the opportunity to treat your scan result. I'm gonna go ahead and check my results uh, if there are errors or um, file and here I can optimize the geometry of my scan result so and <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and delete um, a mesh in this region right here I used the box selection method 
to select this region here and delete it as you can see here and now I go ahead and remesh or fill these holes to get a smooth surface so if you have a question um, regarding um, to use of, of uh, solid age to treat um, SEL files or, or scan or something like that you can leave a question in the command section and maybe uh, in the next videos I will show you some tutorials um, um, how you can use the solid age reverse engineering so I'm gonna go ahead and, and smooth the surface of this region to get the best print results and uh, to not have some issues uh, in the slicing uh, the treatment of the scan is very important so I export it now uh, the SL file and go to Cura and slice the models here you can see the Cura settings I think the optimal settings for printing this model as you can see you need only in one region support material so here we go the printing time is 16 hours and it was no problem to print this model as you can see here so this here is the printing uh, result it looks good I try now to remove the support material and this is easy this is not a problem it's easy to remove Now let us compare the original and the copy. I can say I am happy with the result. It's it is acceptable. It is okay. So if you want to to paint your 3D print, uh, I think it's better to to treat the surface. Uh, with the um, acetone vapor or epoxy uh, which uh, I did not in this project I think with the chemical treatment of your 3d print you can get more better painting results because these chemicals smooth the, the surface and the acrylic color can diffuse in between the material layers and the final result will be much better So if you want to print this model you can find in the video description the link 
where you can download the SCL file and if you like this video and if you want to get more videos this kind maybe also tutorials to solid age reverse engineering please support my channel by subscribing thank you So I think I'm not so good uh, in painting, but here is the, the results and you can compare the original and the, the copy. Maybe uh, uh, this, the painting is not so optimal, but that was not the target as of uh, this project. Uh, the scanning and, and the treatment of, of the model was good and the result is acceptable. So thank you for showing and supporting my channel.